<laughs> what? I'm trying to tell you what you need. What do I need? Dockers. <laughs> Slacks. A nice pair of dress shoes that have a crisp shine. And a an, uh, gas station rhino pill. <laughs> don't speak hunt. don't speak of my my gas station sex pill addiction yeah jasper's addicted to him he's hard right now i take um i take <laughs> i take two two gas station rhino pills and i don't drink it with like like you think oh maybe this nigga drinks it with like an energy drink or a gatorade nah this so they have a liquid form of it and i wash it down with that as like a little topper yeah Hard for fucking three days straight. Mad honey. <laughs> Mad honey. It's crazy. I almost bought one of those one time. Why? Well, because I didn't know what it was. It said it was like a supplement, and I was like, oh, so, like a honey supplement. Like, I could just put this in my tea or, like, just <laughs> eat the packet of honey. You know those, like, hiking easy go things? Yeah. That's like the fucking... It's dude. like filled with protein or whatever, yeah, and you just, like, like eat it out of the tube? Yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to buy one, and I never did, but I'm glad I didn't. I didn't know what it was. Imagine I eat it, I'm walking around, and then I get hard. Unnaturally. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Um, well, we got bad news. I got bad news. What happened this time? <laughs> You'll never guess. I got it right here for you. Um, the other day, I seen something that's kind of scary. You know Mormons? Mm-hmm. I found out that they... I wrote it down. And it made me cry. Is that... Uh, I guess like in, in uh, Arizona, there's a city. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Just speak up a little bit, because it's kind of low. In Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> there's a city. Uh. And... Uh, it's... Uh, Oh, there's just a city in Arizona that just you know I don't know. <laughs> no, there's a city in Arizona, and it's uh, it's it's got like a bunch of Mormons that live there, but I guess they're like super hardcore. Mm. And fucking dude, it's creepy because it's like filled with like two or three thousand people. I don't know, I don't know the exact number, but they live there, and the police force, the politicians, and like a lot of the business owners are Mormons. That's like whatever, but they're like fundamentalist Mormons though. Mm -hmm. So they're like hardcore. And I guess what happens is people will move in there, like just regular people like you and I, they'll move in there and into the town and they'll buy a home or something. And let's say they buy it for like 200,000. They get this home and it's all controlled, like the real estate agents, everything. It's all controlled by the, uh, by the Mormons there. And, it's like a Mormon town, so they have a lot of power, and even the local politicians are Mormon, so, and they're part of this, like, fundamentalist church, and um, when you move in there, you know, you purchase a home for, say, 200000 well, since they control it, what happens is, I guess, a lot of people have been complaining where the police force is part of it, so they actively try to get you out of there, so you just gave them 200000 for this house. And now they're going to torment you for not being a part of the FLDS. Mm -hmm. And um, they like are pooling people's do like the cops. there are pulling people's dogs out of their yard and like killing them. And the business owners are refusing to sell to like non Mormon, I guess, fucking Mormons residents. are fucking weird. Like, yeah, no, like, like, like I get some people like I do know some people that are Mormon, but they don't like push their beliefs heavily. And that's fine. But like. People that are like to the book, like I can't, like I get if you can or can't do something due to like your religion, but like, well, it's, 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 it's like excessive. Well, th yeah, I, I, I see it cause it's like the local cops were arresting people who weren't part of the FLDS and they were harassing them. And then the saddest one is that the cops rounded up non Latter-day Saints residents, dogs. Mm -hmm. So like I was saying, their dogs and murdered them in mass. So like they killed all these dogs in mass and it was a way to in, like invoke fear in the non-Mormon community. So then what happens is they purposely do this shit and then the, the people will move out of there because they're like, well, fuck this. Like I'm not dealing with the Mormons no more. They go to move out of there and they're selling their house for like the lowest price. They don't give a shit. They're scared. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, oh, one of the neighbors fucking is shooting at my dog. And then the cops come out and who are the cops? the mormons so yeah. they're up to no good they're all up they're all part of it it's like not a conspiracy it's it's real they really are doing this but 
I guess there's bigger fish to fry, so they don't really give a fuck about like what's going on over there. Oh, I was gonna ask you. I know, like I seen like video of like. W- did you see the the UFO that had happened in Vegas or no? Yeah, I don't know if I believe. No, it, dude. no. So the only reason why I was like, "What the fuck about it?" is not like the call or whatever that came in, because I mean anybody can fake that. There's so many calls. Of, oh, I see this. I well, see they that. Had you that don't video, huh? They had the video, but they're not showing anything. No, I I seen the video. It was body cam from a cop. It was a yeah. cop's body cam, and you see like some weird shit break through a barrier, like well, yeah, yeah, in the distance. So it's kind of like what the fuck. But like the call, they were trying to be like, "Oh, there was a a ten foot or eight yeah. to ten foot being like whatever the call had said or whatever." I was like, "Oh." that's kind of weird it was just weird for like it's just like if you see um i don't know if you if you see like a super high quality 4k video of some shit like that you're gonna kind of be like oh you just had all that just so happened to be recording that and it's a bit fishy no yeah but to see it from a cop's body cam it's fucking maybe 480p at the highest quality is like what the fuck they didn't have the being on the cops cam no no i know that they didn't have like the being but still but still seeing like that that was weird i'm not saying that i wasn't saying like oh there really is something but like it was weird to see that and then immediately after there'd be a call that was a little weird it was just weird to see it on a body cam and it to be so clear still i don't know that's all the way out in vegas yeah and then right near vegas is like not super close, but I mean, it's nearby is like that town of Pahrump mm-hmm. and then literally right across the way is Groom Lake area 51. And like, like you, I mean, I'm sure you do see weird shit if you're out there mostly because I mean, well, think about it. It's like they're flying shit or just doing testing or whatever, but I don't know. The person said that it crashed or some shit and they seen those beings, but like at the same time, like I believe I'm sure aliens have been here, but like the thing that I don't fully believe is that how why would an alien if it were to come here be like you know what i'm gonna fucking go to this super busy ass city that's like just people like yeah but that's like if it landed in the middle of manhattan the the other thing that didn't make sense was like if it crashed why is there no crash site why is there no like they cover that shit up real quick but the military would come and get that stuff. They'd make sure nobody. Well, I know, but like for the cop, because the cops were like immediately called and then went onto the call. Like, you mean to tell me that in, I mean, I'm not doubting that in that short amount of time they could clean it up, but it's like. Well, they would probably tell the cops like, well, you guys didn't see anything. Yeah. Like, no, we came here responding to it. And they're like, no, 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 you didn't. You didn't see nothing. But why, why the fuck? Something I'm always confused about. Like, I do believe in uh, a lot of the alien stuff and there's a, the ex- air force guy that came out i guess he worked with like air force intelligence Mm -hmm. and he was saying that uh, we have like programs and all this stuff it just came out like last week it's this whistleblower he's like a high-ranking air force dude oh well now you're now we're gonna go missing in fucking three days no i doubt but he he came out and he said that yeah they are doing a lot of testing and like we do have otherworldly craft and all that i'm sure we fucking do and i know we have for a long time but um it's just weird because, like, he says that, but at the same time, like, what is real and what's not? Because I know a lot of the times recently, um, they've been more and more videos have come out of, like, weird objects flying and, like, shit coming out of the sky and the ocean. Mm-hmm. But it's like, at the same time, how come all of a sudden we have this big burst in, like, oh, here's a new video from a fucking Navy F-18 of a of a alien UFO, or a UFO they chased. They don't know who what it is, but they chased it. And it's like, why all of a sudden, though? And, and they recently said that we shot one down or something. There's been a couple cases where the Air Force and Navy have shot down a mm-hmm. couple of these, like, unidentified craft. Why the fuck would you do that, right? If it's, like, a real alien ship... If you don't know what it is, why would it you? Yeah, it's not like oh, I think like China or Russia would have this. Like, why would you shoot it down? That is the last thing that it, you would want to do. I wouldn't. I mean, if I was a fucking government official that made that decision, I wouldn't want to shoot it unless it's like actively going over a military base or somewhere it's not supposed to be. You're like that. a no fly zone. Yeah, but like if it's just flying over the ocean, like I don't think you should shoot that down, dude. That may lead to something bad. You never know, and if it really is real. And it is a fucking, it's Israel. It's a big, it's a Jew FO. <laughs> yeah, no. It, it, but if it is real though, it's like, why would you do that? Because before you know it, you're going to shoot it down, cause some fuckery. Yeah. And then that's it. 2024 is going to be quite interesting. You know, like I wouldn't want to do that. 
I no, I, do I just thought that was weird because, like, like I said, like the body footage or the body cam footage was like pretty clear for it being so low quality and like, yeah, it was, it was, um, they weren't even like, oh, what is that? Like they were talking to like a civilian, like something was going on, and then you just see like out of the corner, like you just see some shit like fly through, like it looks similar to, um, like space launches that they've done, like how yeah, kind of yeah. like when you break through, like how it's like wide and it kind of looks like a like an onion, I guess. Like it goes circular yeah, on like yeah. the sides, like it's breaking through. It looks like that, but it's like blue and it's like super strong and then like gone. Like it literally looks like some TV movie shit. It's like there and then gone. And it's like that's on a cop's body cam. You really think the police station was like, oh, let's fucking download this footage and edit this. Like, yeah, I don't think cops would do that. I, I don't think. Well, I don't really think they have the fucking time either. And they don't benefit from it because it's not like the military. Yeah. Like, the police doing that wouldn't really... you just be like, okay, the police department's being fucking weird and sneaky, and then they'd be <laughs> mistrusted. But it's like if the government does it, it's different. Because yeah. then it's like, you kind of already expect that. They have power, money, like, control. Yeah. The police department's really just kind of like, hey, your tail light's out. But the military's like, hey, like, we assassinated JFK. So it's like it's different. Like it's just different. Yeah, we're definitely gonna hear a fucking yeah. Hear a knock at three a.m. and then we're gonna get a bag over our head and then we're gonna be somewhere. I'm gonna see you for maybe a minute <laughs> and that's gonna be it. I think. I don't know, dude. I think whistleblowing is kind of. Uh, I need to show you when I went on. Um, well, oh, sorry. When I didn't. When I when a, a friend of a friend of a friend. <laughs> Um, put me onto the deep web. There's a whole like onion link that goes in and it's like onion link after onion link. So it's just like a forever portal of a bunch of whistleblowers of like different categories, like CIA whistleblowing, military, like unreleased documents, things that have, were said that were never like fully disclosed or that they were disclosed and then covered up. Like it's like yeah. a whole, like you could just scroll for like, I'm probably days and just read shit. I mean, I think, that one dude, though, that kid that worked for the Air National Guard, um, um, he was, it was like a month or a month and a half ago, and the one that got arrested, you know what I'm talking about? I don't think so. He uploaded, I think this is the same kid, he's like our age, and he uploaded, um, no, I think he's like 19 or 20, and somehow he got like, uh, I mean, for being that young, he got a pretty good security clearance real quick, but like... He got a security clearance that was super high, and he was able to deal with, um, I think he was working on, like, technology information or something. So it was, like, really confidential. Like, you have to have a good security clearance. And he took some documents, a lot of documents, uh, that we're talking about. No, it wasn't the same one. There's two different occasions. One of them, somebody downloaded um, uh, classified documents about military aircraft. And then mm-hmm. uploaded them to a War Thunder. You know that game? Yeah. They uploaded it to a War Thunder like server that was like talking about the game. Yeah. Just to prove a point. Because somebody was like, that is not what the F-16 has. And so he got these classified documents and was like, right here, it states that this is how the mechanism <laughs> works on the F-16. On a fucking video game? Yeah, dude. Like, he went full blown. That then, game is real, like, immersive and, like, because yeah. I've opened it a couple times. Like, I've never really, like, played it. But, like, you go into the cockpit view, everything is there. Yeah, All gauges good. work. Like I-, I liked it. It was cool. But that, he somebody did that. And then this other person, the one in the National, the Air National Guard, he, um, he fucking took these documents and released them and like was a whistleblower pretty much he, they arrested him and everything but he um he released a bunch of things about like the ukraine war mm-hmm. with russia and how it's not us being like which you'd have to be pretty stupid to think of like oh we're giving money to ukraine to help them because we care like that's not why and how like weapons companies are making a lot of weaponry that are new and giving them to Ukraine, which, I mean, that makes, that's like not a conspiratorial thing that makes sense because war sells like it does and yeah. they get to test wet because America hasn't been in like a war war. Like we were in the Middle East, but that's not against like an army, you know, yeah. like Russia is an actual army. It was against like fucking like insurgents it, and like it, guerrilla fighting. Yeah. So it's a little different, but we haven't been to a, a real war in a long, long time. But Ukraine's over there and we're giving them our stuff. You can and test it, do whatever. And yeah. And then they're using it against Russia. And like right now they're doing a counteroffensive. And so far it seems to be going okay, right? Well, because you got a lot of NATO weapons. So now we get to see how they'll uh, 
do in a real war. Yeah, hold up and yeah. Yeah, and then he released a bunch of more documents about like that war and a bunch of other stuff, but he released one too about new weapons being made. And that one's the most interesting because it talks about like um and it, it did come out that it was true is the in Ukraine the Ukrainian Air Force is using these missiles that and I'm sure they've had them for a long time, but they got sent there by the US mm-hmm. and when the missiles launched, it doesn't jam the radar, but it like fucks with the radar. So it looks like um, it can look like anything they program it to. It can look like there's seven F-16s flying, but mm-hmm. in reality, it just got shot from one plane. Yeah. But it could look like there's like seven F-16s or it could look like there's two large Ukrainian, like Russian military bombers. It could look like it's their own airplanes. So the Russian military will be looking at it being like, what the fuck? Like, why are there these like TU-37 bears flying towards us? Like, that's our bombers. Like, why would they be coming here? So you can make it look like anything and it tricks the radar into thinking it's one, two, three, four, five different planes when in reality it could just be one. I think that's pretty cool, but like, we didn't really use that weaponry in the Middle East. Who the fuck yeah. are we going to use it? The Taliban sitting there. Like, what are they going to do with that? Be like, okay, like they don't give a like, fuck. oh, there's one. Oh no, there's six planes you're flying. Oh, yeah. If there's one plane or six, you're fucked. So it yeah. doesn't matter anyway. So, but over there, it's different. I think it's really interesting, dude. I think it's unique. Like a lot of people aren't talking about it. Like in this sense, like they talk about it in like, do you agree or disagree? But I think it's interesting. Because Ukraine and Russia going to, like, war with each other is just, like, well, Russia going to war and then I guess Ukraine is defending it. But I don't know, dude. Like, I, I don't think we should be giving them so much money. But I think yeah, we'll get involved somehow. It'll It's going to get to a point where we get involved some way. I already know it will. I'm, yeah. I'm just ready for it. And then China wanting to go to Taiwan is another one. And a lot of people, like, I see both Bro, sides. Bro, give that shit, like, four months we're going to get that fucking draft notice in the mail. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. They keep saying that uh, by 2025, like, the U.S. Air Force uh, general dude recently said that by, like, 2025 or 2026, he 100% is confident that China will be trying to attack Taiwan. But, see, I don't know, though, because, like, if you really think about it, like, if you actually put, if everybody were to just put, like, a friend hat on for a second and really think about it, like, what drives most countries? Pretty much every country. Money? Yeah. So, why would you, why would you, I know war is money, right? It is. Yeah. But, say the military complex here in America, like, yeah, they make a lot of money from war and the Department of Defense and all that, but, like past a certain point it's not worth it because then you don't the country itself doesn't make money Mm -hmm. so the government itself like chinese government russian government and american like yeah we all don't like each other it's like democracy versus fucking communism and socialism i get it that's like the oldest thing in the book but china's not stupid they know that if they launch a nuke that's it it's done and russia like, right now, i seen something on the news this morning that said Putin wants to put nukes in Belarus, right? Like, I'm sure, and I'm sure it's a tactic, because he knows, America knows, and China knows, and even North Korea knows. Like, you can't do that. You just can't. Because if you launch a nuke, or you can use it to threaten, but if you launch nukes, like, that's it. Nobody wins. Yeah. Nobody. And it doesn't matter. You don't matter make if... anything. You don't win anything. You no. don't win any land. You don't get any money. No. It's like, that's that. <laughs> Nobody wins anything. And even if you're like, like if China was like, oh, well, let's just take out America. Like just the whole thing. And they launched everything they had. Say Russia and China teamed up and we're just going to just drop all they had on us. Okay, cool. Yeah. So America's gone. But guess what? I give it like 45 minutes later, the rest of the world's gone too. So it doesn't matter. Like nobody wins in a nuclear war. And yeah, I, it's more of like a pump fake, like, we'll do this. Yeah. And, and it, like, instills fear into you. I think I think it's a good thing, though, because if you think about it, like, nuclear weapons, yeah, they can be our destruction. But at the same time, they also are a big, uh, what's the, they're like a big thing to keep us to minding your P's and Q's. You know, like, yeah, Russia invaded Ukraine. All right. But they didn't go in there, and he was talking about, like, small nukes and shit like this, but at the end of the day, he's not going to do it, because he knows what's going to happen. 
even if he set off a tiny little nuke that just just was enough to destroy a city like you already know the implications dude you're fucked like you're fucked nato's it's gonna be war and then again nobody wins like there is no winner in a war pretty much i don't know i also feel like i mean like you said war sells so you're making you're making money due to the transfer of weapons so from here to like you said if you're making a transfer if you were selling shit to um to ukraine or to china or to wherever else you're selling it from america you're making money on all of those sales of that and if yeah it's just done and gone you're still having a mass production of weapons and different yeah. military grade shit that's going where and for what yeah yeah and that that's and then you would have no incentive either like as a soldier if you were fighting you know like if you were infantry or anything or you should even just in like the air force or the navy mm-hmm. like if i'm on a ship off the coast that's a little different cuz china does have warships so you yeah you, you know in the navy you'd probably be going at it like they'd yeah. probably be going at it but like the Air Force too, yeah, you'll be fighting the planes and then the Army and the Marines, you'll be on land doing shit. But as like a soldier in every branch of that, there would be no incentive. And the people who would drop the nukes would be the Air Force. Those are the people that have it, the Navy and the Air Force. And it's like, if they were to drop it, they there's just no incentive to continue to be a soldier. Like once they do it, that's that it's over. There is nothing to there. You're not going to have a home to return to now your life. It was the military, but like, you know, you could get out and retire or whatever, but now it's like, no, your life is the military. There is no retiring. Like yeah. you're in it now. Like this is in the post apocalyptic of it all. Like you're either going to be wearing the uniform or I don't know, you die or whatever the fuck. <laughs> like, that's why it just, it's like total apocalypse. And that's why whenever people are like, Oh my God, we got, we're going to, he's going to fucking launch nukes. It's like, I don't, I don't fear that dude. I genuinely don't believe it. Nah, no, nah, that one fucking time when Kim Jong-un was making threats when we were out at the gas station, we're like, what the fuck is that? Oh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> but that's like, cause that was so like, but it was also really heavily, spread through yeah, you know like, like talked media, about and like yeah, yeah like every fucking minute of every day i was like he's threatened again that's why yeah. i was like bruh i literally looked up and the first thing i thought is fuck it's happening yeah yeah what the hell is going on out there oh something's going on outside what fuck they have a shock yeah 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 no i i don't know i just i just know that if like china goes to taiwan I would want to, uh, I'd, I'd probably just join the military. That way I don't have to get drafted. Because if you get drafted, you don't really get to pick where you go. They just kind of place you. Yeah. I'd rather pick where I go. Go join the Air Force and do something very gentle and calm. But, I don't know. It doesn't sell. I don't think that'll, you know, a nuclear war would ever come to fruition. And, like, even military generals know that stuff, dude. At the end of the day, it's all just a pissing contest. You know, like, it sounds silly, but it really is. It's just, like, to see whose dick is bigger. But that still plays into all the UFO shit, too. Mm -hmm. Because I guess in Ukraine, they said that they've been seeing a lot of weird craft flying over. And Russia's like, that's not ours. I mean, like, another thing that I find that, like, how we were talking about how military and just the government and shit in general does a bunch of weird things. I feel like the other thing that's weird is, think about it. If you're in the U.S. and you're working at Area 51, right, and you have the technology, the utilities, everything that you're able to do to have literally a fucking uh, a spacecraft, like a hovering spacecraft, and you take that spacecraft and you go fly over China, are they going to think that it's America doing that? I mean, maybe, though. Maybe. But I feel like the governments would know because Russia's had incidents with, like, the KGB back in the day of UFOs and capturing highly sensitive like um, otherworldly information yeah china's had the same thing and then america's had the same thing and like if you really think about it like america had the the sr-71 it could go super it was like mach 3 that's fucking insane and it i mean where'd you just get that technology and just learn that that's the thing like yeah (laughs) like it doesn't just you don't just get and that was in the 60s the cia built that plane okay in the 60s think about 20 years ago 20 years ago today, 20 years ago, you still had – technology wasn't like shit, but it also – Yeah, you had like – there though. was like dial-up internet and like different but types of like – it was still like, sort of modern. Yeah. 
Okay, 20 years ago in the 60s would have been in the 40s. Mm. That's World War II. It's really not modern. It's kind of like coming out of the 20s and 30s into the 40s. The things there, like, they still use, like, like uh, they did in the 70s, but, like, they still use, like, lead paint. And fucking, yeah. Well, we put arsenic in the water. Like, you know, cur- stupid yeah. shit. But then you go to the 60s, 20 years later, things start getting more modernized. But by that time, they have a laptop looking thing that comes out of the bottom of the sr-71 that you're able to utilize the onboard computer with Mm -hmm. and it's like that's weird because even early forms of a i don't know when like the first computer really came out or anything but like first forms like a first computer literally would probably take up most of your room like it wasn't just oh let me flip out this laptop yeah set up this deck like it was a lot so that is weird for there to be a whole flying spaceship that is capable of you said going what mach 3 yeah, that has that literally has a laptop like in like how do you just like learn those things and just know those things without other yeah. influences because a- everything in history people repeat things just like there's um there's toys that i'm sure if you watch tv there's been a couple times i'm watching tv i'm like hey that fucking toy that they're advertising is brand new and i had one of those when i was eight like that shit yeah, isn't yeah. brand new yeah. and it makes you think well at least i think like if they're doing that with like toys and smaller things, what else could they be doing it with all the shit that they're pushing out now could have been something that they've known and been capable of doing for fucking years. They just never put it out to the public, just like the the spacecraft. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're ready, though. You can't tell. I mean, dude, we fucking we get aff- like it sounds it's really not political, but like we get offended by pronouns and shit. You can't. How are you going to be ready to be you, told that there's yeah. a whole other being on another planet and like you can't, dude. We're just not ready. I don't think we'll be ready for a long, long, long time. What are we at? Um, we're at 26 minutes. I don't know. I just think that we should do like 30 just so that like, we could still do like hour ones or whatever, but I just yeah. think like 30 ones cause, so they're not just like such a long one. We can get like a couple more out and it's a little easier for editing. Oh, yeah. True. Huh. Okay. Well, then today we should do like a one. like, I don't know, I like I'll still on to fucking Apple and Spotify. Um, I can, I, don't know how. I was looking into it a it little bit. Money? No. So it's more so that like you have to get, um, approved. Yeah. Like you have to get approved. And then like, since of course this isn't like a, like we aren't using audio of like, um, like how we don't put any songs or anything, yeah. the intro or the outro that wouldn't give us any copyright issues. So it should be relatively easy. I feel like the easiest thing to push it to would probably be Spotify and then maybe Apple music. Cause I know Apple music, you do kind of have to go through some verifications and yeah. like have, um, a certain amount of a following already for them to do that. But I think we should be able to get it onto Spotify relatively easy. I think it's, I think Spotify is like almost like SoundCloud. How you can just click upload and upload something. Mm. You can do that. But for it to really be pushed to your audience, I think you have to do more, but I've, I've never used Spotify really. Like I have a couple times, but I looked on Snapchat, uh, to see what the ad cost is. Like I went into the deep dive of the program that Snapchat offers mm-hmm. and I guess it's $50 but if you spend fifty, they'll give you seventy five credit. Yeah, they'll give you a seventy five dollar credit though. So that means you could get what, like two ads. Yeah, because there's also on like Instagram. I think it's depending on what, how many days. What is it? How many See, I days? Don't have Instagram. Well, for, for Instagram though, it's like how many days and how many people you want to interact with. Like if you want to be interacted with anywhere between ten to 20,000 people yeah. for three days, it's like $8 or like whatever really? amount. Yeah. There's like different amounts. Like it gives you a whole breakdown, but you have to have a business profile. So we'd have to remake uh, it another Instagram, set it as a bit. You can set it as a business profile yeah. for free, but you'd have to set it as a business profile to be able to do all of that. But you can push ads out like that. Why? Well, I don't know. I was I was thinking about making another one, but it wouldn't like I don't know. It would be strictly for that. Be I mean, like, that's all that I would want it for, to be really be for yeah, so too. It'd be for the account. Yeah. And then the YouTube channel. Well, I mean, because if you're sitting there school, if you do that and you push all those all those ads, when you push an ad, it's like it's not just like, oh, this is what I want for the ad. You use one of your posts that you already have up. So we can just post little clips or whatever out throughout the podcast and make that an ad and have somebody be scrolling through Instagram and be like, what the fuck is this? And have it yeah. just say our name, whatever, and it'll there's, push through. There's got to be. There's got to be. A, you know what? Dude, I'll go old school. We'll we'll get up money and get a billboard on the freeway. <laughs> I would. We'll put like a picture of like two tennis balls that are colored blue. Be like, got blue balls? Like, 
I don't oh, know. have it look have it look like got milk. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, got yeah. blue balls. Yeah. So people are like, what the fuck? And then it cuts over to me and you going, hey, say subscribe. How do we make a website? Can't we use Weebly? <laughs> There's like Weebly and Wix and a bunch of different websites, but yeah, you can. It's free though, huh? Um some of it. Weebly's uh, free. Uh, no, you so it's free. School. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's free, but it has like um like it's limitations. Like it's it's still gonna be whatever the name is dot weebly, but if you actually own a site, it'll be blah 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 dot com. It won't be like dot weebly dot com. And uh, sometimes you're restricted on like things that you can post or how many things can be on your homepage just because it's like having like premium or like basic. Just like with YouTube or anything, how there's like a premium option, you can do more things. Premium. <laughs> premium premium yeah that's what we'll name this one we won't name it podcast fucking number eight we'll name it podcast number premium premium yeah, the premium premium podcast <laughs> eventually we'll get to a, the vagunion yeah the vagunion podcast eventually we'll get to the fucking we should name them that's we're what like i want to do we're like in podcast eight and we're still setting the bases but we took a break for like a year and a half. I mean, yeah, but we, dude, we also said, well, yeah, we're working on getting some new new footage or uh, some new hardware. We're using the same microphones, the same yeah. computer. The only thing different is a mouse that I'm using because I took it from my fucking setup at my house. So, yeah, but there is a little shit that I do want to like work on. I feel like the laptop is OK. I'm thinking of taking the hard drive out and I have a solid state drive. That's a faster drive, that portable one I have. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to take the insides of that out and put it into here and it'll make the computer run faster. It'll download faster. I'll be able to edit everything faster and it won't be such like a hold up in like the speed of it. But we're at 31 minutes, almost 32. But right, I think we cool. should do little shorts of like 30 minutes like this and just talk about like a random not like a politician fucking thing. It's or not political. Politi- your political fucking <laughs> well, like a political thing or anything. But it's almost twenty twenty four, dude. You got to get on the <laughs> the tranny you train. Get, no, no, you got to, <laughs> bruh. It's it's the what was it in twenty? What is it twenty sixteen? Yeah, it's the Trump train twenty twenty four. No, I don't know. Though, the dude. Ball Buster 2024. Yeah, it's almost fucking, it's almost 2024. It's almost time. It's going to get started. It's starting to get hot. A lot of people are getting hot, hot and heavy, horny. They're all big. They're all big. Yeah, they're all taking fucking mad honey. Mad Not honey. mad honey. That's a fucking psychedelic. It's the, <laughs> the one honey, the fucking sex honey. I don't know. I just know I it's like know. some fucking. They're all slurping the honey up up there on stage at the primary debates. They're stroking their shit. <laughs> like I can get the creamiest for the presidency. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>